welcome back to Food Prep Guide. I have been working with squash this morning and I have squash hands. <laughs> Let me bring you up a little bit closer, show you what's going on with my hands. <laughs> so I'm in several Facebook groups and um, it's like peeling off. And I have noticed that a lot of people are concerned with their skin after they work with squash and it's because of this reaction and just peeling of squash that can happen with your hands. Some people are more sensitive to it, some people aren't. Um, I tend to be one of the people that are. Um, but what happens is the, the, the residue of the squash, it, it dries on your hands and creates almost like a, if you, if you ever uh, put glue on your hands when you were a kid and let it dry so that you could peel it off, <laughs> I might have been the only one that did that, uh, but it's, it looks very similar to that except it's often stained yellow and yellowish orange. Um, and it's really hard to get off, so for instance, I have already washed my hands with soap about four times and I am still left with all of this on my hands. And I don't know if you can see it very good, but I have a little bit of light red splotching going on down my arm and it's almost like a little bit of a rash and a lot of people will get concerned that they're having an allergic reaction to the squash um, when they're really not. It's just a, I guess it is kind of a, a very localized reaction, but it's not like a allergic reaction that, um, like a scary type health situation. Um, it's very temporary. It only lasts typically um, a few hours and even, if not only 30 minutes, but there is a way that you can, like I said, I've already washed my hands four or five times. Um, but there's a good way to get that off, so I want to show you real quick how to get rid of squash hands. I'm going to bring you up closer. Okay, here's my squash hands, and here's some olive oil, and I'm just going to pour the olive oil onto my hand. Coat it nice and good. Coat it all over any of the spots. If you have some like on your arm like that, you can rub it up there too. Nice and coated. And then I'm just going to take a scrubby type sponge and I'm just going to start rubbing it off, pressing down pretty firmly. So let's look at this spot, all these spots right here. And they're gone. I'm do the rest of my hand, get all the stuff off. For some reason, the soap just doesn't do a very good job getting rid of squash hands, but oil does do a good job. Okay, I am officially squash hands free. <laughs> I just wanted to share that tip with y'all. In case you are processing squash and that happens to you, don't be, don't be worried. Um, it's normal, normal reaction. Okay, see y'all next time. Bye.